What are you doing? I am shooting a time lapse of this building because it's so freaking cool. You look real good shooting that time lapse. Shooting time lapse. What's wrong with that? I like your outfit. Thank you. Interesting turn of events. It's Sunday. We're about to go house hunting. Something happened. The house that we were looking at that was off the market is back on the market. You're suspicious, aren't you? I'm very suspicious. So I'm really excited about today, also a little nervous because this is our only day to find a house and we've got four houses to look at and three apartments to look at. So, first house we're seeing is a newly renovated home. It's a flip. This is the one and only house I've ever seen that has been moving ready. Our standards. standards. Yeah. The kitchen is nice, which is huge. The bathrooms are done, which those are the things that cost the most to renovate, along with doing roofs, electrical, plumbing, stuff like that. We're looking at houses in a city that I know nothing about. So in St. John's, you know where the good neighborhoods and the bad neighborhoods are and the sought after streets That's and true. stuff, you know? Yeah. In Vancouver, we're looking for rental. Generally, Vancouver is pretty safe. And the style of Vancouver is interesting too because everything is modern, everything is new. Whereas up here, you're getting into a lot of homes that are built in the 1900s and earlier. It'll be interesting to see where our findings take us today. If you guys have just found us from this vlog, probably haven't been around when we did all of the renovations on our house. And basically when we started creating internet content, we started by renovating this house that we bought and we started a blog basically to track our progress on this house. If you haven't seen it, quick home tour, kitchen, living room, Bedroom, Becky's office, basement, production room, back to us. This is gonna be hopefully a less annoying version of like House Hunters. I don't think there's discrepancy between our styles, but I think that this situation where it's a house that we might only be in for two years, where it's a house that we're probably going to have to renovate to flip versus renovate for us. Yeah, that you know was the I mean? whole philosophy of our home in Newfoundland. It was, this is our house that we're going to live in for a long time, so let's renovate it to what we want, mm -hmm. and let's not care about resale value and alienating buyers. This is a temporary house, and yes. knowing that, we have to treat it as such, and exactly. maybe not go so crazy with the stuff that we normally would go to. Mm -hmm. We're late. Stay tuned. Let's go. We're going. So you can tell the owner did a lot of DIY stuff. A lot of the painting and plastering was really sloppy, rough around the edges kind of stuff. Skylights, looks like there was a leak in one of them and a single coat of paint over them. So that could be a liability. And we have had bad luck with water in the past house. And it's on a busy road as well. Yeah. There was some random vent that was just covered half by a wall. I don't really like the location. If, um, so yeah, we'll see what this next house yeah. is like. This is the house that was off the market that is now back on the market. or something. Microphone check. All right, really liking the ground. Interior of the house, what did you think? It'll be a big project. Needs new furnace. It's got copper piping. We'd ideally want to replace all of that. Four years ago, we had copper pipes explode in our walls back home, five different places. Messed up like two of our rooms that we had just finished. So that was a nightmare. It's a water spot that you picked up on. The roof was done in 2002. Yeah. I mean, the closet could not have been touched for 16 years, 15 years. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I think it has potential to be really cool. It'll require the intensity of project that we have probably done don't want to do in St. John's. Yeah. Okay, next house, mid century modern ish house. It's massive. I've always said that I never wanted to have a big house. Our house back home is like 2,000 square feet. This one is almost 4,000. Not sure how I feel about cleaning something that big, but it's mid century and that's why I want to look at it. Was that your mid-century dream? I liked it. What did you think? Yeah, well, it's in better condition than the other houses. Yeah. Well, the other house. And that's kind of offset by the fact that it's a huge house. It's like 3,400 square feet. Office area is what got me because that is like the most ideal office space. How do you reconcile old versus new? You see so much authentic old mid-century modern stuff. I get confused on how to 
update this space without ripping all that stuff out and actually have to pre like, preserve some authenticity. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know either. This will be my like first whatever. I like it. It's my favorite so far. And the bedrooms have carpet, and there's no bath. Windows are awesome. But can't get down with cream though. I don't like looking at that urban. Oh, decay. I do. I think it's awesome. Creeps me out. Okay, next house is a older home, 1900s. This is house was built. It's also small, which is great. 1600 square feet. 1600 square feet is three times the amount of square footage that we're living in right now. feels really squatty. It's not like a small number of square footage in a big open place that you could use. It's like split up. A lot of small rooms. If you were planning on making the attic your workspace, I think you'd go nuts. Yeah, I think you're right. All right, on we goes. A long time ago, when there was a big snowstorm, they used to bury their dead in the basement because there was the snow was too deep. So then in the springtime, they dig out their dead you know, bury them, but once in a while you'll find a home that, you know, so if you're doing renovation work or you're oh. digging out your basement <laughs> to like pour concrete, uh, it's happened before. I mean, it doesn't happen that often. Two times I've heard and, you know, since I've been a realtor that they've come up upon human remains. <gasps> and then you're living in the house where you just found a body yeah. in the basement. So oh, like, oh, oh God, oh Jesus. It happens sometimes. I think it's a, it might be a good tool. Good tool? So ends our day of house viewing. Boy, I'm tired. Um, what did I think? I don't know. I mean, like, kind of underwhelmed by some of the rentals. Fangirling on that mid-century house, digging it, worried about the price, worried about resale, worried about it being massive. The ranch and then the mid-century house. Those are my two picks, both pretty big. None of the prices were motivating enough to take on a big project like that. All right, I'm tired. <laughs> Okay, we are leaving today. It is Monday morning. But first, we're gonna go meet up with some internet friends. Billy and Pat, I'm so excited. Yep. We've been talking on the internet for a few months. Yeah, saying, hey, tell us about Buffalo. Hey, hey let's be friends. <laughs> hey, here we are. This looks like the residential zone. What's this place called? Typico. Typico. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey nice to see you guys. Hey. Okay, one of the confusing terms, am I recording? Okay, one of the confusing terms for me was upstate New York. And I just assumed that anything outside of Manhattan was upstate New York. We're gonna have these guys fill us in on the proper <laughs> terminology. Yes, this is, this is Billy and Pat. We're gonna pass it over to Billy and Pat. We'll link to their vlog below. Okay, using my handy dandy, yes. non-geographically correct, but you get it, <laughs> hand map. New York State, a little taller up here. Long Island hanging out down here, New York City. So upstate New York would be like this area. And there's northern country. North country. North country, thanks Billy, is over here. And then from like Syracuse West. No. No, Rochester. No, he, see, this is the thing. We have to figure this out as a state. There's like eight, there's eight areas. Right. I know Western New York, and Western New York is like this area here. New York City's here. Northern countries here. There's the Finger Lakes region in here. <laughs> Finger Lakes. Buffalo's Western New York. Western. So don't yes. call it upstate. You'll get the Buffalo Smackdown. So take home message: Buffalo is not upstate New York. It's Western New York. Or you could say the West Coast of New York. Oh, it is a coast, isn't uh -huh. it? It's a coast. People will be like, yeah. <laughs> but you'll know. Very informative. The more you know. Is it rock paper scissors or paper scissors rock? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Yes! Rock, paper, scissors. Yes. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Yeah. Why would it be what any other the, What way? other option is there? paper, scissors, rock. It's paper, scissors, rock. Are you kidding me? That just sounds like a tongue twister right there. Are you sure about this guy? Or? Just gonna leave this conversation. <laughs> what are you gonna do about this? About what? Chris has trapped a wasp underneath this cup. We'll be at it. Are you ready to unleash the beast? Yeah. <laughs> 
shit. Carol <laughs> sees uh, soon. October? Yes. That's what she's Any acclamation yeah, you need, you know? Hit us up for all the buffalo needs. Uh, See you guys. Have a great weekend. Drive safe, fly safe. Thank yeah. you. We made it. Back to the airport. Well, we didn't make it yet. Still had to go through security. Get to the other terminal. Get some food. Another word you say funny. Really? Food. 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 Let's do the pack push test. <laughs> that suitcase sucks doing this one. It does. I think we need to get another one like this. I think you're right. Stand clear of the doors. Hold on to the handrail. Mind the gun. Come across as what? What? <laughs> Here come from. In Vancouver. We didn't pick a house, so you'll have to stay tuned to figure out which house we go with. Or if it's not even one of those houses, this might not be. We'll see. see. No rush, we'll figure it out. There is a rush, we have a two month rush, but we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Over and out. Been walking distance to Starbucks. Yeah. Basic pumpkin spice latte, bitch. <laughs> Phone check one two. What is this? Came into this world as a reject. Look into these eyes. 